Another season is done and dusted. The 2020 AFL season that honestly felt like it went forever is completed. The Richmond Football Club are the 2020 AFL Premiers. Today's video, I'm just going to go through my previous predictions. We're going to have a look and see just how well I went from base from round uh, from the first round of the finals to the final round. I didn't do any predictions before the finals started. Uh, I'm going to go through all my predictions. It's the best down of nine. Uh, the grand final was completed. We had our first ever grand final at night uh, that I've ever witnessed. It was at the Gabba. Uh, it was very weird watching the granny away from the MCG. Uh, it, was, it was a good game, I'd say, for the first three quarters if you are a footy fan. And then Richmond just turned it on. Dusty Martin. I mean, have we seen a better finals player? I don't think we have. He was absolutely unreal. Richmond come to play in the second half. And they, I mean, they're a dynasty now. You can't really argue that. Dusty Martin kicking this absolutely unreal goal in the last quarter. He had a few moments in the last quarter. Another Norm Smith for Dusty. We're going to go through and we're going to have a look at my predictions and see how well I went. Make sure to comment down below what your predictions were, who you thought were going to win the grand final, if you guys were correct. I'll go through uh, all of them from the first week of the finals, the second, the third, to the fourth. But before we do that... I am doing a giveaway on the channel, so make sure to comment down below on this video. I'm giving away my PlayStation 4 Pro. Just because the PlayStation 5 is dropping, I didn't really feel like uh, just selling my PlayStation. I'm going to give it away to a subscriber. We're pushing 3,000 subscribers. I thought, why not reward my subs? Give back. So comment down on this uh, video down below, and let's get into my prediction review for the 2020 AFL Final Series. So let's start the review. We have to go all the way back to, I think it was like three or four weeks ago now, uh, when Geelong took on uh, Port Adelaide in Adelaide. That just seems like months and months ago. Um, I was labeled a Geelong hater with all my predictions saying that I didn't feel like Geelong would win the, ga win the games. I just felt like uh, Port Adelaide probably should have made the grand final just with them two home finals. Um, so the, the most I can get is, I think it's nine. So there was nine, there's nine final games um, in the uh, finals. So the best I can get is nine. Let's start it off. We go all the way, like I said, go all the way back to that game uh, when the Bulldog, when Port Adelaide took on Geelong. Uh, I did tip Port Adelaide to win that, so I got that one correct. Um, they won in a very tight game. That was a really nice game. Um, I mean, that's where I really thought Geelong might have went out in straight sets, and that's why I was labelled the Geelong hater. So one from one to start us off in the final series. We move on to game number two, and that was Richmond and the Lions. Now, Richmond and the Lions, this was a uh, this was one of the games of the round. Um, I, I actually did tip Richmond to win this, so I did get that wrong. Um, after Brisbane won this game, everyone was tipping the Lions to go through and make the grand final and play in the grand final. Uh, they basically got over their hoodoo. Everyone thought that they were never going to be able to beat Richmond. Um, Richmond did not have Tom Lynch in this game. That was a big out for Richmond, and uh, Brisbane got the job done. So one from two early on. We move on to game three, and that was the Bulldogs in St. Kilda. I actually had uh, Bulldogs winning this game. This game was very tight. We had, uh, we had, I mean, St. Kilda dominated this game. St. Kilda probably should have won this game by like four or five goals. Um, they were really good in this game. And like I said, I had the Bulldogs to win. So one from three, very poor early on. Um, this was a really good game of football to see how good and see how far St. Kilda have just come uh, in the league today. Game number four was the upset of the round. That was Collingwood and the West Coast Eagles in this game. My Lord, I did not see that coming. I don't think anyone's seen that coming. I had West Coast to win that, and I had West Coast to win that quite comfortably. Collingwood got the job done. They advanced. So for the first week of the finals, I was one from four. Very disappointing. Uh, there's nine games in the finals, like I said before, so uh, not very good. We move on to week number two, and week number two was kicked off with the Tigers and the Saints on a Friday night. Uh, this one was at Metricon Stadium, and I definitely felt like uh, Richmond win this game. So I've been, everyone's thought that I was a Richmond lover. I am not a Richmond lover, but I, I felt like Richmond were going to get the job done. Richmond would be a little bit too good uh, for everyone, in, even with Tom Lynch back. Tom Lynch did return. I think he, I think, I'm pretty sure he kicked like the first goal in like uh, the first like maybe 20 seconds of this game. So him coming back was absolutely huge for the, uh, for the Richmond Football Club. They got the job done pretty convincingly. St. Kilda did challenge them, but I mean, Richmond were just a little bit too good and they advanced. So currently two from uh, five now. So two from five. We move on to the uh, next game. That was Collingwood and Geelong. I uh, actually tipped Collingwood to win this and Geelong, oh boy. At one point in this game, it was 62, I think it was six, 66 to six in this game. Absolute domination from the uh, Geelong Football Club. They really shown that they were here to play and I mean, I wasn't on the Geelong. I was. I was. I, I went for Collingwood, so I got that one wrong. I moved to two from six. 
Um, a lot of people were saying, like I said, I was a Geelong hater, but that just was not the case. I just felt like Geelong um, struggled against good teams. I mean, they, they did it a few years ago when they uh, uh, made the finals. They made the, like, it, it even shows in their record. I'm pretty sure they were talking about it in the media. Chris Scott was basically flamed, and they asked him why his uh, record was so bad. But uh, Collingwood got, uh, Geelong got the job done. I got my tip wrong, so I was two from six as we move on to the final three games. So week number three. So week number three was Richmond taking on Port Adelaide from Adelaide Oval. I actually tipped Richmond to win this game. Uh, this was probably game of the season, and I, I genuinely felt like these were the two best teams in the AFL this season, Richmond and uh, Port Adelaide. Uh, Port Adelaide started the game pretty well. Richmond started it really well, but Richmond just... I mean, Port Adelaide just couldn't score against Richmond. Charlie Dixon was just beaten convincingly uh, in that game. Didn't really see Charlie Dixon, and Richmond got the job done. So um, I moved to three of seven. I mean, it's not very good, but I mean, I did tip Richmond to win that game. And then we moved on to the Saturday night game, and um, it was finally time for me to jump on the Geelong bandwagon. I actually did tip Geelong to win this game, uh, and they did. I mean, from the outset, they basically controlled the ball, controlled the play. Gary Rowan was unreal. Gary Ablett was unreal. I mean, the little master really shown just how good he was. And and uh, it was disappointing to see what happened the week later in the grand final. But uh, it was great to see how Gary Ablett went. He absolutely killed it. Uh, that was too strong, Geelong. So I went to four from eight with the potential to go five and nine. And I was pretty happy with five and nine. I mean, a lot of people were saying that I got it whole wrong with Geelong. I did get it wrong with Geelong. I said Geelong would go out in straight sets. They went on to make the grand final. And that leads us into the grand final. Now, the grand final, uh, Geelong dominated the first half. I feel like there was only three or four good players in that first half for Richmond. That was Jaden Short, Shane Edwards, Dusty Martin. Uh, even Trent Cotchin was okay in that first half. I, I thought uh, Graham was good also in the first half. Uh, Geelong got out to a pretty good lead, a 22-point lead, and then, I mean, it was all Dusty Martin. You could you could basically say Dusty Martin kicked the final goal uh, before three, a uh, half time, and it really set the tone. Richmond came out in the second half. They absolutely dominated. Paddy Dangerfield struggled. I mean, I don't know why Chris Scott had him at full forward the entire game. I'd love to know what your guys' opinion uh, is about that. Really unsure why they had... Uh, Paddy Dangerfield playing full forward when he's basically one of the best midfielders in the league. Very confusing. Don't really know what that one was about. Uh, Dusty Martin, absolutely unreal. The Norm Smith medalist. I actually did tip Richmond to win this game. So I ended up going 5 from 9 in the 2020 AFL final series. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it's it's basically... I'm, I'm happy with it. It's over 50%. I got 50% of my uh, tips right. Some of my tips were very wrong. I mean, Collingwood to beat Geelong. Uh, that was very wrong. I had... Uh, I think I had uh, Bulldogs to beat St. Kilda. That was wrong. But I hope you guys enjoyed the predictions uh, with the AFL 2021. I'll definitely be active once again and get all my predictions out there. We'll probably do like a preseason thing. I'm thinking of doing like an every single uh, trade a, a team should make. I'm thinking of doing that. Um, a bit later on in the week, maybe next week. So get ready for that. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. We're pushing 3,000 subscribers. PS5 drops in a few uh, weeks. So a lot of content coming on the channel. I'm thinking of announcing a new AFL series as well. So get ready for that, guys. Um, that's going to be pretty good. But five for nine in the AFL predictions. Congratulations to the Tigers. I tipped them from the outset to win the grand final. My prediction was actually Richmond and Port Adelaide to make the grand final and play off. That was, uh, that was very wrong. It was Geelong and uh, Richmond. Geelong will get Jeremy Cameron in the offseason, so that's going to be very interesting. Uh, Richmond also, I'm sure, will come back very strong. A lot of trade news and rumors going to be happening. I definitely will try and update you guys with everything that's going on there. Uh, we do everything here. Basketball, AFL, everything sport, uh, anything really. Call of Duty. So get involved. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the predictions. Make sure to comment down below what your guys' tipping was uh, for, the, for the finals and also what you thought of the grand final. Love to know what you think of that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel. Stay blessed.